Hey YouTube, it's Chris K2CJB with K2CJB Radio. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is a quick video to take a look at this new fiberglass pole I got to hold up my link die pole when I'm out in the field. And you can see I'm out in the field. Um, the last time I used my pole, which I purchased at least six years ago, maybe more, it was a cheap $20 Shakespeare, one of those crappy pole fishing rods. And um, this is actually the same thing, but it wasn't quite $20, a little more than that. Uh, the name of the company is Gocher, G-O-T-U-R-E, and um, it's available on Amazon. So we're going to take a look at it and see how it holds up an antenna. The rod comes with this handy little case uh, to keep all the pieces together, we hope. You can get it in different colors. I think I picked this one because this one might have been on sale. Um, little lid on the top to keep all the pieces inside as you extend the pole out. You don't want to lose these, as we all know. The bottom, actually, this is all wound together uh, with some sort of a mesh on the bottom, so this doesn't come off. The other one I had, that's what it not only came off, it broke. So that's why that pole failed. So this one so far seems to be a little bit better. This little PVC stand with these three tent stakes is a uh, Tracy Outdoors on the Air VE3 TWM creation. And um, I'll tell you what, I use this thing all the time. It's a way to actually get your pole to free stand in a field. So you sit, simply set that stand up, and then you put your pole in it, and there you go. It's standing on its own. The way I hang my dipole on these extendable poles is a little piece of wood that I put together, drill two holes in it, and just drop it down to where it stops. And then I take a small bungee cord, hang that there, and then the center of the antenna will hang right off the end of that bungee cord. This pole works like all the other fiberglass telescopic poles. It's just a friction fit as you pull the pole up, just give it a little tug, and that snugs things together. Not quite the sturdiest of poles. Uh, the other one I had did not bend quite as much when I had the dipole on it. Um, I think because of the weight of the coax and that matching transformer at the base of the center of the dipole. So I'm going to try taping the coax to the mast and see if that holds it up. I taped the coax to the mast at a couple of points on the way up. Uh, it helped a little bit. I pulled the stakes a little more in the direction to kind of get it to stand up straight. I may tinker around with that a little more, uh, but we'll see. We'll see how it holds up. It's the second day using this pole. My link die pole is connected up in the center of it. I've taped the coax to the pole again. I collapsed it last night because it got really windy here at this campground we're at. Uh, so I didn't want to take any chances. But today looks like we're having a pretty good day. It's getting a little breezy. I'm going to leave it up and see how this holds up. Well, after three days, we've had this pole up and up and down a couple of times because it got really windy here at the campsite we're at. Um, the pole held up just fine. Um, it, it didn't collapse on its own or anything like that. And of course, it didn't snap or anything. So, And we were operating also under some pretty windy conditions. Today, it's pretty calm, so no problem this morning with it. But the last two days, it was pretty breezy out here. So it, it held up. Um, it sways, it bends over a lot. It's a lot of flexibility in this thing. Is it as good as a soda beams or one of those uh, one of those kite poles? Uh, probably not. I wouldn't say it's as strong as any of those. It's much thinner than they are. Uh, but I think for, you know, you're gonna put a lightweight dipole or something like that up there, it'll be fine as long as if you're using regular like RG8X like I was using, um, you're gonna have to tape the coax to the pole or else it'll, the weight of the coax will just pull the whole thing really far over. Um, make sure the pole is really lashed up to something or you use a stand kind of similar to what I use um, and that'll hold it up um, but again it, it's not as durable I don't think as like a soda beams uh, which was of course designed for this kind of stuff and I think MFJ makes them too it's designed for this kind of stuff and it's a lot heavier thicker wall material this this is not but you know what <laughs> for thirty dollars it works right so um, just have to be a little more careful with this one as I use it so I hope you enjoyed this quick little review of this uh, this little Gocher um, fishing pole, telescopic fishing pole for um, portable dipole. Uh, or probably an NFET probably work on it too. So 
Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like. Uh, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. So until next time, 73 from Chris, K2CJB.